face it, sweetie. I said, what was that noise? Nothing, sweetie. I just ran over a big frog. No, you didn't, Mommy. Frogs don't sound like that. Mommy, I'm bored. I want to open my eyes. <sighs> Please, just be a good girl and keep your eyes closed like I told you. Okay, sweetie? Hello YouTube, welcome to the first part of my playthrough of Dead Rising Deluxe Remaster. This just came out tonight, and this is pretty much a remake of the original Dead Rising game that came out in 2006. And the original Dead Rising has a special place in my heart because I did play it when I was a kid, and I beat it when I was a kid, but also Dead Rising 1 is the first cosplay playthrough that I really did. And it was like four years ago, um, you know, summer of 2020, it's like August, September of 2020 is when I was actually doing it and um you know I attempted uh you know Frank's cosplay with the camera and kind of you know his black jacket and you know now I got a better cosplay for that four years uh, later but I started doing uh, you know all my different playthroughs where I would dress up as the characters and it all started with this game and so the background behind this I know that intro is kind of scary there this is 
the best zombie game of all time. In my opinion, the Dead Rising series has always been the best zombie uh, zombie games. Dead Rising 4 was kind of weak, but Dead Rising 1, 2, and 3 were just all great games. And if you want to know which Dead Rising game is my favorite one, my favorite one has always been the first one. I know most fans say that their favorite one is the second one, but my favorite is always the first one, just right where it started. That backstory, you know, going to Willamette, trying to investigate it. So basically, the backstory behind this game is it's an open world game. Um, this game takes place in 2006. Uh, so that's when the game also came out. So you're not gonna see like, um, you know, um, uh, you know, smartphones, for example, all these flat screen TVs. Uh, so it's, I guess it's gonna kind of have that, you know, early 2000s feel to it also. But basically the backstory behind the game is that the game takes place in this small uh, mountain town, uh, Willamette, Colorado, uh, and there's a zombie outbreak, and the zombies have spread around the town, they're killing everybody, and uh, you play as an investigative reporter named Frank West, and the purpose of the game is that Frank arrives in Willamette, you know, with a belief that he has a big scoop, and he goes there to try to find out the truth, and throughout the game, you can save survivors, um, you know, explore them all, do different, um, you know, quests, and there's also psychopaths, which are, you know, scary bosses that you fight. Uh, but anyways, basically the whole game is Frank, you know, trying to piece together what happened in Willamette and trying to find the truth. And uh, there's multiple endings to this game, but there's only one canon ending. And uh, as you go through the game, Frank will find out the truth and actually where the zombies came from. This game is running on the RE engine, which is the, um, you know, the new, you know, engine that Capcom has also used for their um, Resident Evil games. Capcom's the people who make Resident Evil. They've also made the Ace Attorney games, which I'm, um, I've played. And uh, they also did a remake of Ace Attorney... Um, Miles Edgeworth Investigations, which I'll be also playing this month. But anyways, enough of that. Let's start out here. Let's do it. Start right here. New game. And I am a Dead Rising veteran, guys. I played this game so much when I was a kid, so I'm basically giving you guys my thoughts on the remake as we go through it. But so far, I like the graphics through it. I do remember everything that will happen in the story, too. Got the camera, too. Say, buddy. You mentioned something about research for a story. That's right. You got a tip that something big's happening. In a nowhere little town like that, they sure didn't mention anything about it on TV. Yeah, well, I'm freelance, pal. I don't make my living waiting for the TV to tell me what to cover. <laughs> Here she is. <laughs> Willamette, Colorado. Population 53,594. Distinguishing characteristics? Jack shit. <laughs> About the only thing to do in this town is kill time at the shopping mall. What was that? The army? Yeah. <laughs> Looks like taking a helicopter was the way to go. I bet they got all the roads blocked off by now. Alright, listen. I want to get shots of the whole town before the National Guard finishes roping it off. Take me over the main street. And the camera, this is a very big part of the game. Uh, you always want to try to get the best shots possible. They did take the erotica, um, you know, pictures out, which I'll talk about a little bit later for the playthrough. But look at that there, see that? The camera can now have 90, 100 pictures, where in the past it used to have um, 30 pictures, so they did improve that.
I like that they still have the original soundtrack in this too. Sure is. And I remember what happens here now. No way. Check that out. Look at all those people. What the hell's happening here? I have no idea. But one thing's for sure. Whatever's going Willamette on has there, been remastered a lot. It's not uh, business as usual in this town. I like that now, it, because in the original, we weren't really able to see much of Willamette. Uh, but I do like that in the remake, we can see much more of the town now. I don't think that accident was in the original. I know the school bus was. The story in this game is actually really, really good. Oh, the gas station. Yep, I remember this. Wait for it. Whoa! Holy shit! Did you see that? Yeah. I've got to take her up for a sec. Check out that building. Huh? Where? Right below us. This, yep. This shot also, uh... Oh! I want to see the center of town. Take me there. Roger.
Hello there. Huh? You're the reporter, aren't you? Yeah. Uh... You... came alone? Yeah, I'm freelance. You know, going the battlefield alone, no crew. So, uh, what's going on around here anyway? You came by helicopter, didn't you? What did you see from the sky? Well... If it were just a riot, I doubt the military would quarantine the entire area. The moratorium on information getting out is a little... extreme, in my opinion. There's, a uh, something else I can't put my finger on. Doesn't sound like civil disobedience. It's too quiet. <laughs> Almost as if... everyone's already dead? Yeah. So why don't you just tell me already? What's going on? I think you'd better see for yourself. This, my friend... ...is hell. So, um... I'm gonna I'm gonna also have a few lore videos on this game when I um uh, when I finish it, but I'm pretty certain that Carlito is Frank's source because um it's never been revealed who um who his source was unless he changed something in the remake. Uh, but uh, somebody called Frank to this town, and I'm pretty sure it's Carlito. Uh, Frank must be on the helipad at 12 p.m. on the 22nd, or he will be left behind in the mall. Um, pay careful attention to time as you play. All oh, right, and and the crazy thing is. Capcom released this game on September 19, I just realized it, and the game actually takes place on September 19, 2006. I forgot about that. Wow, that was, that was, that was a, um, yep. Start investigating. Something is happening in the once peaceful town of Willamette. I should investigate the only shopping mall in town if I want to get my hands on a scoop. Okay. Looks like you're the only journalist that made it out here. I'm looking forward to some nice pictures. <laughs> so uh, that's one thing I do appreciate about the remaster or the remake, that when you when you talk to characters outside of cutscenes, they'll actually talk, because characters be beforehand wouldn't, um, uh, wouldn't talk, they would just be text. You can save your progress locations marked. The security room is a little bit different from the re original. It's a little darker. It wasn't this dark in the, um, in the original. Oh, this. A lot of people miss this. This is a secret cutscene. Okay, that's that scene is different because I remember um I remember the game like the back of my hand. Frank says, What in the world? That's what he says in the original, but I guess in the remake he doesn't say anything uh there. Oh, and this is one of the new features I know. Um This is this is a really great feature and I appre I really appreciate that Capcom added this, where uh now you, you have all, all all different clothes. And these are all the clothes because I got the uh you know the special edition. So I have all these, you know, extra clothes here. Uh, but basically, uh, as you go through the game, you will find clothes in the mall. And beforehand, you would have to constantly keep going to the same store. But now, uh, now what happens is that the uh, the clothes will be at the uh, at the closet there. Uh, compass. Okay. It used to be circle to open doors, now it's triangle.
the doorknob. Where's my little... Oh, quit screwing around! Oh, 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 oh. Have you seen my baby? I can't live without my precious little sweetie donkey. Oh, where is my Madonna? Where is she? Oh, oh, Madonna. Oh. Hi, this is no time to ogle pretty girls, son. You looking to get yourself eaten alive by zombies? What? Did you just say zombies? Take a look out there. Those ain't zombies. What would you call them? <sighs> There's been more and more of them since last night. Now, they're all that's out there. Eh, look on the bright side. Zombies are stupid and slow. <laughs> we should be safe in here. All right, then. Feel like making yourself useful? Take a look around the mall and bring anything we can use for the barricade back here. On the lake. Come on, pronto. September 19th, right? Uh, so, so that that's the reason that uh, since Frank is a professional journalist, he can whip out his camera and take pictures anytime he wants. Go to pictures in the pause to view photographs you've taken. Okay. Where do you suppose he went anyway? He couldn't have gotten out. Zombies are too slow to get me. And every time I come shopping with you, something happens to raise my. Huh? You! Stop right there! Do you have any idea what you've uh. done? Why did you summon me to this place? What are you planning? Would you calm down? I don't even know what you're talking about! <laughs> what the... Also, the guy who does Frank's voice, I don't mind him, the new actor. I do miss TJ, but I don't mind the new actor also. He's not bad. And this is how the zombies get in the mall. How that old lady managed to overpower two guys, I don't even know how. What in the hell are you people doing? Run! Quick, move! Get over here! Everyone, move this way! Quick, to the stairs! Move! Okay, uh... Okay. There's also a um, a secret cutscene that you can get. If you die in that scene, Frank gets saved by Otis. Where are the others? I don't know. I hope they got away. As long as those things are in the mall, 
We'd better not use this door. Uh, what are you doing? The air ducts. They'll get us back into the mall. And apparently, those things aren't smart enough to use the ducts. So they won't be a factor. Wait a minute. You want to get back in there? What for? Hey. Hey. Nice camera. Are you a photographer? As a matter of fact, I am. Frank West, photojournalist. Could you show me some pictures, Frank? You really seem to know what you're doing. Who are you guys, anyway? I mean, what are you... I took that one near the entrance. That guy do something? No, but thank you for showing no. me. Thanks for showing me, though. I remember all these lines. Uh, hey, we're not done talking yet. Just who are you guys? I'm Jesse. The man you saw earlier is Brad. That's all I'm authorized to tell you. And, uh, let me see here. Notebook, yes. Uh. And you can keep track of all these survivors here. Yep. So, um,. Uh, I will say one thing, uh, about it is, um, uh, uh, some of the voice actors I prefer in the originals, like Brad, uh, I like Brad's voice actor much more in the original, I thought his original voice actor did a much better job, um, but as for Brad, I do like his physical appearance better in, uh, in the remake, because he looks a lot older, because he was 46 in the, in the original, he looked kind of young to be 46, he looked like, more like he was in his 30s. And so it's, um, I like, um, I like that they made him a little bit older. You ain't planning on going back down into the mall, are you? I wouldn't do that if I were you. But you young folks never listen to me. Huh. Well, if you're gonna go, at least take this transceiver with you. You better take this map, too. So, um, Otis, um, talks for the first time. He's never talked in original, and now he talks. <laughs> Okay. Now this is the survivors that you find oh, in the game here. Have you seen my wife, Natalie? She... Looking for someone? I'll lend a hand. Oh, you can now skip fella. dialogue. I like that. The name's huh. Jeff Meyer, by the way. I'm Frank. I'm a journalist. Now about um, yeah, you get a lot of XP for uh for saving survivors. Oh. Call survivors. Okay. Okay. Come on! And a lot of people make memes where they, uh, they, they're like, can you beat the entire game, the, the entire game with Jeff following you? So people, like, do that. Like, can you beat the whole game with Jeff following you? Okay, now, uh, oh. Oh, crap. No, I didn't mean to do that. Um. Come on! Okay, wait. All right, you two. You mind cutting your joyous reunion short? It's not safe here, but I know a place. I'll take you to the security room. Follow me. It. I should have um, taken the picture. I. I accidentally threw the thing at them. The, the controls are a bit different than the original. Um. Come on. 
And one thing I really appreciate, and this is as a as a big Dead Rising veteran, is uh, that they added steps here. I'm so happy by this. So, so happy. Um, and the reason is because in the original, there wasn't steps. There was just one big step. And all the survivors would just constantly hit each other. And this and this area is now bigger. This hall, this uh, hallway up here near the vents was actually a lot uh, smaller. I've never to the wall again as long as I live. I've had about enough of this. Okay, level six now. So yeah, so this is it's gonna be a lot easier to save survivors now. Oh, this, this, this move messes people up so much. Uh, people, yeah. Okay, examine. Okay. Anyone there? Oh, this is the most iconic scene right now. Uh, that that's Zombies double door now. It used to be a single door. Feeling you'd show up. God, it's you. Look, don't sneak up on me. Brad was attacked. I located him on the monitor. It, it's probably just a sprain. I've got to help Brad. Or he's done for. All right, fine. Give me your gun. Come on. I'm the reason you just got hurt. Let me help. No, I can't let a civilian do that. That's against regulations. Yeah, well, I don't think they had zombie-infested malls in mind when they wrote those regulations, kid. You know how to use this? I've covered wars, Kinda. you know. I've covered wars, you know. Look, after I'm through helping you, you and I are gonna have a nice little chat. So this is case one. And so the, it, the cases are all based on a time limit, so you have to be at the specific places at a specific time. And then the facts are at the very end, when you finally have all the evidence together and you find out where the zombies came from and you have the, the mystery. So the game is also a mystery in a way, too, is you're trying to figure out basically what happened here. Aiming. Uh, cases. The case panels form a guide to solving the mystery behind the incident. When you encounter a key event, a new case panel opens, taking one step closer to the truth. You can take a look at the current status of the case panels. You got the case file option. When all the case panels have been uh, filled in, the truth behind the incident will be revealed. This, I'm actually um very happy by this, that you can now move while shooting. You couldn't in the original. You would uh, constantly be... Uh, yeah. You would just constantly um uh, be stuck. This, the ceiling is new here. I, this has to be here. Please be here in the remake. Yes, it's here in the remake, the Uzi. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's one thing I heard about. You can no longer break open boxes by jumping on top of them. That kind of sucks. Maybe they'll fix that in a patch.
And also, Dead Rising is a pretty hard game. Uh, this is not an easy game at all. Um, I wouldn't say this is like a game that's gonna, you know, make you rage all the time, though it can. But like, trying to save the survivors gets like really hard. Uh, oh, and that's a new thing, this, the, the, the cop zombies can now shoot, kind of, but they'll miss a lot of times, too. Okay, we gotta go help Brad out here. I like how that that new feature at the top there. It tells you basically, uh, you know, how many meters you're from the uh, oh, from the point. Oh, you can now turn the camera like this. Okay. Okay. You can tilt it now. That's cool. Kind of sucks they didn't add co-op to the remake because um, uh, because they could have really done co-op because the second game had co-op. It would have been cool if the first one had co-op too. Escaping from zombies. Yeah. Oh, this is new. You don't have to twist the stick anymore. You just press square. Okay. Find you. Who? Jesse? Yeah. Damn it! Okay, we'll have to talk about this later. You know how to use that gun? I've never fired at a person. All right, I'll cover you from here. You need to stick to the shadows. Try to get close to the target, okay? And what am I supposed to do when I get close? Well, the ideal thing would be to shoot the guy. Well, the best solution would be to shoot the guy. But if you can't do that, keep him busy dodging your bullets and stay out of trouble. Are you up to it? I'm a lot better with a camera. But yeah, I'll give it a shot. All right. Next time he reloads, I'll lay down a suppressing fire. I'm counting on you. Make your way over there. One, two, three! So this is Carlito, the same guy that we talked to at the beginning. That boss battle is so much easier in the remake now. It's so much easier. Uh, that, I, I, that, I can't believe that was so easy. <laughs> he got away. Who was that anyway? I don't I know. I don't know. Well, thanks for your help. The name's Brad. I'm Frank West, photojournalist. And right now, I'd rather have an explanation than your thanks, Brad. Sorry, I've got nothing. Sorry, I've got nothing to tell you.
Look. I don't know what Jesse told you, but as far as I'm concerned, we're through working together. So you cover your zombie story and leave the rest to us. You, uh, you guys are looking for someone here, aren't you? Hmm? Who is that? Where did you, you take You help me, I help you. One hell of a journalist, aren't you, Frank? A hot headed, underhanded, hot shot paparazzi with nothing better to do than to invade people's privacy. I try. You got a point? You win, Frank. Let's work together. Jesse and I are DHS agents, and yes, that's Department of Homeland Security. In that picture, you're with Homeland Security. Is that guy a terrorist or something? I took that picture in the entrance plaza, right near the front door. The entrance plaza. You're sure? Hey. So do I have your permission to cover this story, or not? <sighs> also, one other thing, um, you know, even though I'm, I, I'm a Dead Rising veteran and I've been playing since the very first game, I will say one thing about this, one thing I didn't realize until very recently, the mascot for the shopping mall is a bee. And while I always knew that, I didn't realize until recently that it's extremely ironic. And I don't want to spoil anything, but the a bee being the mascot of the mall, you know, you'll know why that's ironic later on. Oh, and um, we got a new feature here also, guys. If you look, it actually shows you the health on the weapon. That's actually a really good feature. I, I like that Capcom did that. That's actually a really good thing that they did. <sighs> Starting to the AI is a lot smarter. Yeah. I'm already, I'm already, AI is doing really good here, AI. The AI was so stupid in the original one. Sir, if you could just kindly come with us, we can wrap this whole thing up. No, I'm not leaving until you can Absolutely, guarantee sir. me safe if passage just open through this gate. gate. Just open this no. gate. It's for your protection. I am not protection. opening any gate. Thank you very much. I'm going uh, to stay right Do here. Dr. Barnaby, safe. sir. Thank you. Doc Dr. Barnaby. <clears throat> Doc. Well, what happened? You can't just arrest him? He turned down my offer to protect him. Said he isn't going anywhere until I can guarantee a secure route out of here. Jesse has a direct line to HQ. The first thing we need to do is to call for backup. Okay. Oh. Shit. 
Right now, you're in the entrance lab. We're only weeks away. Now, the fact you got the shutter open, if you want to change into some fresh does, just take what you need from the clothing shops out there. And we will be three glorious years of Friends, there is me, owner, the janitor. Bring the whole thing. Is that you a journalist, right? I've been watching the monitors here, and I've got some info you might want. There's some young guy wandering around in Paradise Plaza, scaring a camera like you. I guess he must be a photographer too, taking pictures at a time like this. You're both crazy. <laughs> Scoop, uh, uh, Q. Scoop Q provides a list of current requests along with relevant information on survivors. If you are able to pull fill the objectives laid out in the Scoop Q before timer is out, you can receive a PP or learn uh, uh, more about the incident. Uh, okay. Less than, uh, six hours remain. Okay. Using your watch and map, you can place pins and scoops to make them show up on the side. Uh, you can place up to four separate pins for scoops. Okay. And the thing is, some scoops are actually not, uh, marked. They're unmarked. Now this, I remember the survivors... Okay. There's a guy that's actually right back here. Somebody there? Help! Please! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I, um... That, that, I didn't know that would hurt him. What a relief to finally get out. I owe you one. I was just trying to get the place organized when the whole pile came down. I was trapped for two old days. The mall's open today, right? It's not a holiday. I wonder why no one passed by huh. until now. So this guy's been trapped here before the outbreak you even were happened. Stuck for two days? You haven't had contact with anyone. Yeah, unbelievable, isn't it? I lost a lot of weight, but it was no picnic. Well, I guess I'll just head home then. I mean, the company owes me one, right? They won't huh. care if I knock off a little early. Thanks a lot, man. See you around. Yeah, uh... What the hell's going on out there? I'm afraid we've got a zombie problem. <laughs> so much for going home. Come back to the security room with me. It's a good place to relax for a while. Amazing. I do appreciate that Capcom uh, voiced the survivors now. They, that, that dialogue is now voiced. I actually do really like that. Uh, skill use for breaking free from zombies. When grabbed by a zombie, repeatedly press X. Okay. And, uh, food is basically how you regain, uh, health in this game. Okay. Let me just see. What time is it right now? I'm really scared to see how the survivors go through the mall. Brad's AI was really good, so I really hope this guy's AI is pretty good, too. Follow me! And the, uh, the entrance plaza leads right into Paradise Plaza, but it's locked right now, so, um... It'll be unlocked a little bit later in the game, though. Crap, no, no. Follow me! Follow me! I think a lot of these weapons can take, uh, Come can on. last even longer now. AI is keeping up. Okay, that's good. Frank, you in the full court now. You might want to 
Also about Otis, um, Come on. if uh, if you actually get attacked by a psychopath or a zombie and it hangs up the call of Otis, he calls you back and gets really mad. He's like, don't hang up on me like that, it's rude. Come on. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying the remake so far, I'm having fun with it. Come on. Already level 10, Follow nice. Me. Uh, the skill allows you to climb on unsuspecting zombies. You can even walk on top of zombie cars. Press X while pushing, pushing, uh, just st standing on zombies. Okay. And, uh, you see those surf bots there? That's a, um, easter egg towards Mega Man Legends. It was in the original too, but I hope oh, Mega Man. Man Legends gets a remake one day too. So these are double doors. In the original, they were just single doors. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna make saving survivors, and I might be able to save every survivor on this playthrough. I can't believe this. How could there be such a thing as zombies? Hmm. So that's what Dr. Barnaby said, huh? The Okut's not dumb. He wants us to call for help first. We got a line out or what? The signal's being blocked. I can't even contact HQ on the emergency line. So, if we want to get our hands on Dr. Barnaby, we're gonna have to secure a way out of here ourselves. All right, we gotta deal with the situation we've been handed. The Boneheads back at HQ might be working on something, too. There's a helicopter coming. Three days from now. At noon, it's my ride. Is your ride reliable? Absolutely. That's how I plan on getting out of here. All right, then. I'll see to it that the DHS picks up the charter fee. Can we take Dr. Barnaby as well? Sure. As long as you tell me what's going on. Okay. I'll tell you what you want to know. Later. We have more pressing business right now. If we have to wait here for three days, we'll need supplies. 
um, water, blankets and the like. We'll get Dr. Barnaby here tomorrow morning. I want you to keep an eye on the monitors. Okay, so we finished all of case one here. Uh, next case will occur at 6 a.m. Okay, that's a, um... I know that you can fast forward time now to, uh... Right. And there's a, a, a trophy in the original to, uh, photograph 50 survivors, and Jesse can and Brad count as survivors too. Uh... Thanks a lot! Good. To get one of Otis too. All right. But yeah, I'm ha I'm having a lot of fun with this. This might be my my game of the year for 2024. Uh, the only thing that's that I'm a bit pissed about is the censorship. But I'll talk about that a little bit later when we get up to the specific part. Um, passing time. You can pass time to advance. Okay. Uh. save okay so i guess we will wrap it up here i think this is a good place to, uh, to stop for this part right guys so i i will continue in this game i love this game so much and i want i'm gonna make lore videos on this game 100 i will about the story of dead rising so when i um uh once i beat the game but if you guys enjoy this series you know please do drop a like it does help me uh to make more content like this thank you guys for watching i will see you guys on the next one take care everyone have a wonderful day guys you call on me to